Hi everyone, this is Eric from Dumb Game Dev, and today we're going to be looking at another custom action that I've come up with. This one was by request, and hopefully I understood the request properly, otherwise I just made an action that wasn't needed, but we're going to go over it anyway. So what this is, is an int switch range, and so what you can do is set a range between, say, 0 to 5, then you can have, say, 6 to 9, and then 10 to 14, and if your int falls between one of those ranges, then it'll send an event. So let's take a look just at the description here. So this is the um, code for the action. And uh, the description is sends an event based on a int variable range. The lowest value of the first range is automatically set to zero. So the lowest value is always zero in your range. You set the max value. The lowest range for each the lowest number for each uh, next range is set automatically. So let's just see how that works, and then that will be easier to understand. So I have an FSM here on an empty game object, it doesn't really matter. And we're just going to go to our actions, and this is at the top. It's called int range switch, and it'll be under logic. And let's drop this in. So the first thing I want to do actually move this over here is I want to set up a variable an int variable so let's just call it this int and let's give it a way to change this easily on the screen so we want to be able to set an int let's see here set int value so I'm gonna set this int value to be like say three okay <clears throat> now we've got our int switch range and this will be three and we can define how many ranges we want. So say for now, I just want one range. And it's going to be from automatically from 0, because it's the bottom number, to say 8. So it's not from 1 to 8. This is how many ranges we have. But from 0 to 8. And let's just make a new event. And I'm going to call it like 0 to 8, just so I know what it is. Let's just drag this out, and we'll call this one 0 to 8 as well, so we know where it's going. Okay, so let's play this, and our int should be 3, and that should be between 0 and 8. So let's see what happens there. And as you can see, it fired off this event. Now, what if we had two ranges? The second range is going to be up to what? So let's say it's up to 10. So what this range will actually be is this one above the range below. So this would be from 9 to, to 10. From 9 to 10 would be the result. Let's keep our number as uh, 3, so it should still go to 0 to 8. Great, and so if it's equal to the max range, it will still stay within that range. So 0 to 8, if your number is 8, it will still be within 0 to 8. Yep, 0 to 8. And if we set this to 9, it's above 8, so it should fall into this next range, the second one. There we go, from 9 to 10. So it doesn't indicate here what is the bottom number of each range, but it's always one more than the last range, so therefore there's no gaps. There's no numbers that can't be... Um, missed in this sense but if you did want to miss a range set of range numbers you could say we had four ranges we wanted 0 to 8 9 to 10 so this would be from 11 to whatever we want so if we wanted 11 to 15 we could just set this up as none and you know we could have this use the none to basically go nowhere. Actually, let's just set um, it could just be a none. 
Doesn't have to have an action on it, right? Gotta have all the nuns go to the same place. And then this is the top number is 15, so this is going to be to 16, so say 16 to 20. And I think you guys got the hang of this already. So it's 16 to 20. I guess I could have done that from the beginning. <laughs> oh, that says 15 to 20, which wouldn't be correct. And, you know, let's give this a number of like, I don't know, 14 should fall into our none range. So you could have all the nuns go to the same way. Let's do an experiment. I don't know if this works. So what if we set a range without a an event? So what if we said 100 and we set our number to be, you know, like 89, so it should fall in this last range. Yeah, it works just the same. So if it, it doesn't fall into a range, it still doesn't throw me an error or anything else like that. So we're well, good. You could do it that way. You could block out certain ranges. So there you go. This is an easy way to set up an int range switch. So you could cover a large amount of numbers fairly quickly just with one action.